Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to compare two data sets in Power BI. So let's say you've got some data and you've migrated it to another place and you want to compare. Or let's say you had some data and you gave it to somebody else and then they made some changes and you want to track how those changes are. You can do that using Power BI, so I'll just show you how to do it. And this is a small example, you can uh, use bigger data sets and real world examples just to uh, go on. So I'll I've got this, let's say I've got this employee data, which is just serial number and employee name. So employee number one is Tintin, number two is Asterisk, number three is Batman, number four is Obi, and number five is Darth. So, uh, sorry, this is the data migrated. I'll just open the employee. So you can see it's the same data set, except that Darth doesn't have an exclamation in the end. In the migrated data set, somebody has just put an exclamation mark in the end. And if there's a lot of data, it's pretty hard to sometimes find where changes are. So what we are going to do is, I've got this Power BI file. I've also uploaded this file to GitHub. So you can download the file and do the tutorial along with me. I'll leave a link to the file and the name of the file as well. So I'll just show you. So I've imported the same data. So the employee data is number one, Tintin, number two, Asterix, number three, Batman, OB and Darth. And employee migrated is it's the same except the last row, which is five and Darth exclamation mark. So how do I know which is the, what has changed? So you can use the accept clause for that. So we'll go into the modeling tab and click on new table. And we'll just say change data is equal to accept employee. And then we'll say employee migrated and we'll close the bracket and hit enter. And you can see it is telling me that five Darth does not match with, it, does, it doesn't have a corresponding record in, um, in the employee migrated table. And similarly, if I did a reverse except, which is if I said employee migrated here, and I did an employee here, It will show us what is in the the new table, but it is not in the existing or the original data set. So you can learn and play around and see which data sets are matching and which data sets are not matching and what rows have changed. So it's a, it, is, it is a fairly handy tool to do a quick data reconciliation if you're doing a data migration project, for example. Um, so I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers, bye.